We're back with Barabar, a film entirely dedicated to our research on one of the most extraordinary archaeological sites in the world. For those who don't know it, you can watch the previous presentation video on our project's Kickstarter page. Barabar will tell the story of our investigation into five rock-cut chambers over 2,000 years old in India. These chambers are unique in the world. No one has ever replicated such feats anywhere else on the planet. The interiors are smooth as glass, polished like mirrors. But that is just what we see. Il y a une maîtrise géométrique extraordinaire et une maîtrise de la matière qui est tout aussi extraordinaire. C'est-à-dire que c'est pas un coup d'essai, quoi. The second thing that intrigues us is that nowhere can we find what is called the infancy of art, that is, the place where workers train themselves to achieve such mastery. La complexité, avec un œil justement de tailleur de pierre, c'est ahurissant. Even though we know how to cut and polish granite, it does not mean that we're capable of creating such chambers in granite rocks. And in this field, these chambers exceed all known standards. On est sur du, du high level. Il n'y a pas que le travail de la matière qui est maîtrisé, il y a aussi la géométrie qui est maîtrisée. Pour moi, c'est pas une grande précision. C'est d'une extrême précision. So the question is, where did the workers learn to create such chambers? But once again, that's just what we see. Because it's for everything we don't see that Barabar is going to be a very important investigation for this research into humanity's past. But let's go straight to a question that may arise in your mind. How could a film about five chambers carved in India more than 2,000 years ago change the world? I don't know about changing the world, but it certainly could change our view of history. And if our perspective changes, then a lot of things are likely to change in Cascade. I think that's why this subject is so controversial. But with Barabar, our approach is legitimized by facts, and not by opinions or feelings. Forget about any objections based on the work of our predecessors, because none of them knew what we know about these sites. Knowledge does not come from divine inspiration, ancient inscriptions or legends, but from 3D scans and in-depth analysis. Until proven otherwise, these chambers are unique in the world, and such feats have never been replicated anywhere, not even in India. Now on the top the contrat. They represent a colossal amount of work that is difficult to measure because we have no point of comparison. C'est de l'ordre du fantastique, autant au niveau de la géométrie que de la finition et du, et du travail accompli. L'exigence finale, c'est euh, infernal. They may seem simple at first glance, but you will discover just how complex they are, both in their design and execution. La, la pensée pour arriver, pour faire ce cheminement du début jusqu'à la fin est aussi euh, est stupéfiante. Ouais. Là, les, les formes sont hyper complexes en fait à sortir. C'est fait dans du granit. C'est quand même un des matériaux les plus durs. Pour moi, c'est extrêmement compliqué. And finally, common sense leads us to ask this question. Do we really need symmetrical chambers with such precise dimensions, smooth and shiny like glass, just to shelter from bad weather? We are the only ones to have measured the roughness of their walls and scanned these chambers. On va faire une mesure sur un marbre donc fabriqué Euh, par un procédé industriel, donc il va être rectifié, et donc c'est du granit. On va lancer notre mesure tout simplement. On peut en même temps voir la valeur de RZ de 9,492. Ces marbres ont fait, sont faits par, euh, par des machines en fait, hein. et on s'aperçoit que sur des grottes euh, bon, en verticale, euh, faites à la main, avec des valeurs, on va dire, de RZ 9 fois moins imposantes, C'est plutôt, c'est plutôt incroyable quand même. This is the first archaeological site that we have been able to investigate so deeply. We have been working on these chambers for six years now, knocking on every door, turning every stone, and our perseverance has finally paid off. We have gathered enough information to know that they were made following such precise specifications that nowadays we only encounter them in military, industrial and scientific applications. Our research has allowed us to glimpse the real scientific and technical level of those who created these chambers, and it is clearly this level that will challenge our history. Now, another important question remains, what could they possibly have been used for? While we still do not know their true function, as I speak to you, we have serious leads, and it is to explore them that we will still need your help. 
You will find these details of everything we still need to do in the What Will the Funding Be Used For section of the Kickstarter page describing this project. And if we do not solve the mystery now, then, as physicist Derek de Sola Price did with the Antikythera mechanism, we will provide enough information for everyone who sees the film and then consults our data and reports to realize a huge ripple in the pond of history that these chambers represent. Ça a été fait comme ça par des hommes parce que le fallait s'abriter, parce que fallait abriter la nourriture, tout ça. Non, on fait pas ça dans le granit, dans du rocher. Et pourquoi à cet endroit-là? If, like us, you believe that these extraordinary chambers were designed and built for a reason other than simply taking shelter from bad weather, then please help us by participating.